it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be putting up my very first video today on YouTube. I have been trying to film this for days, but I literally suck at anything that has to do with technology. So it took me a while, but I finally am getting this video up. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this very summery, bronzy, smoky eye. It is so pretty and I love wearing it with basically anything because it matches with anything. So I really hope you guys like it. It consists of browns and um, a little bit of black and gold. So if you would like to learn how to get this makeup look, please keep watching. So first I'm going to start out by taking this Too Faced Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer and I'm going to blend this all over my eyelid up to my brow bone. Next from my Naked 2 palette I'm taking the color Tease and I'm going to put this into my crease and blend it really well because this is going to be our transition color. Then I'm going to take this gold eye pencil and I'm going to use this as my base and I got this off of shopmissay.com. I'll leave it linked down below. It was only a dollar. With a large fluffy blending brush I'm going to take the color Busted from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to start blending this into my crease into the shade T's that we put down first and I'm going to start shaping this into a winged out cat eye because that is the look we are going for. We want it to be very smoky and winged out. Next, using this blending brush that I got from e.l.f., I'm going to take the shade Blackout from the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to start putting this in the outer V of my eye. Feel free to build it up to be as intense as you'd like. I like my smoky eyes to be very intense so I'm going to keep building it up until it is dark enough. As you're building this black up, make sure you're going back with another clean blending brush like I am and blending it out so that it does not look too harsh and it doesn't look uneven or not blended. Next I'm going to take the shade Half Baked and I'm going to use my finger to pat this down on the inner part of my eyelid and in my tear duct to just highlight it and make the eye pop more. After blending everything out, I'm going to take my Jordana Felt Tip Eyeliner. This eyeliner is great for beginners, it makes it so easy to do a winged cat eye. So I'm just going to do this until I have achieved the wing that I like. And here I'm just taking the e.l.f. brush and I'm adding more of the shade Blackout to the outer view of my eye. Now I'm going to start putting on mascara and today I'm going to be using three different mascaras. Well, two mascaras and then one fiber extension. I'm taking L'Oreal Telescopic, and then I'm taking Too Faced Better Than Sex, and then I'm taking by Tarte the Best in Faux Lash Extending Fibers. And these are just going to help my lashes look thicker and longer and it's going to give the illusion that I have falsies on. Sometimes the fibers end up falling on my face, so I'm just taking this fan brush and wiping them away. Moving on to the face, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W4 and putting that all over my face. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm going to buff this into my skin until it is all even. Now on to highlighting and concealing. I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm going to put this in a triangle shape under my eyes, a little on my chin, down the bridge of my nose and just a little on my forehead. I don't like to highlight my forehead too much because it is quite large. Make sure to take some of this onto the sides of your nose because it's going to help contour it and make it look a lot thinner. 
to add even more highlight, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20, Sand Stable, and I'm just going to put this right on top of the highlight that we just put down. And now we are done highlighting, looking gorgeous! Just kidding! I'm now using the Real Techniques contour brush, I'm going to blend all of this out. Now using my Ben Nye Banana Powder, I'm going to pour a little bit out onto my lid and set all the highlighting we just did. Now using this Tanned Roar Bronzer that I also got off of Shop Miss A for only a dollar, I'm going to start contouring and I'm only going to do my cheekbones and my forehead. I didn't contour my nose for this video, but sometimes I do it, but most of the time I skip that step. So the larger the forehead, the more bronzer you're going to have to use, but it is okay. I embrace my five head. I'm just going to put this all across my entire forehead. Now back to the eyes, I'm taking this shade Snake Bite from the Naked 2 palette onto a pencil brush and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then with L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I'm going to coat my bottom lashes. Now with this angled brush, I'm going to take the blush shade Luminoso from Milani and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm just going back with my foundation brush to blend it all together. We're almost done! I'm taking this Jordana lip liner in the shade Tawny and I'm going to line my lips and then completely fill them in. Next with this matte lip cream from NYX, I'm going to take this in the shade London and put it all over my lips on top of the lip liner we just put. Since I have small lips, I'm going to highlight the center of them to make them look a little more plump and I'm just using CoverGirl's lipstick in Creme. Now onto my favorite part, highlighting. To get this glowy dewy skin, I'm using Physicians Formula Highlighter in Miami, I believe. I will leave it linked down below, but I'm just putting this on the top of my cheekbones. And the final touch, I'm using NYX Setting Spray to set all my makeup so that it stays on all day. It stunk. Thank you so much for watching guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.